Howdy, welcome back. Hey, we had a really nice rain last night. It came about uh, 4.30. I was up getting ready to go to my exercise class. And just in time, I got all my beans planted and everything looks, right now, looks really good. I got to drive around. We did have some hail the other night and I need to check a couple farms for that, see if there's any damage there. We did get some rain. Uh, my fan dancing rain gauge. And uh, doo -doo, measures in hundredths of an inch. And I have 41 hundredths of an inch of rain. So what we got last night, it's what we need. We need a little bit of rain. See, it's so so dry, the dust is all in the, kit collected in the rain gauge. I'm gonna get that stuff stirred up. That's how dry it is here. A lot of dust in the rain gauge. That's how it goes. Some years that thing's just overflowing, and other years, you count every hundredth of an inch. We are by no means caught up on rain, but we're getting closer every time it rains. And uh, we got enough to get going, get stuff up, and uh, right now it'll also get the weeds growing well too. So we'll see how this goes, but uh, yeah. Everything's looking good so far. All right, so this morning I actually worked all, uh, all morning on editing a video and getting it uploaded, and that takes an hour to process it, and then like two or three hours to upload it, anyway. It's boring. Uh, but I got done planting yesterday. I got, uh, I opened up my pickup and I took my planter parts out of the pickup because you got to keep that thing stocked even though it doesn't come to the field with me anymore, it's ready to go to the field if I need it. And uh, I have a guy coming tomorrow and you're going to take back uh, most of this seed here, these pallets, and then there's another pallet over there and these pallets here. And they're also going to take back their boxes and they're in the back of the shed behind the seed tender so I need to get that stuff out. and. Uh, it doesn't take long. I'll probably just flip the boxes over and I might show you guys how to do that. And uh, yeah, get that stuff out of here. And then I'll have some room in my shed to pull in, except for all the other junk I have in here that I need to clean out. But it, it all takes time. I'm going to show you how to flip these over. First, you go around and you unlatch all these. Make sure that's first before I start the camera, but you know. Not that smart. Yes. And you just push over on the pallet. Let's see. Oh yeah, leave these. Leave these latched on this side. You just push it on over. They go over not too bad. I think my seven-year-old can't quite do it, but in two years of it, he can. Maybe one year.
good. All right, I got the boxes flipped. There they are. Do, 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 do. Go four high in here. There's three high. And that's one company, that's a different company. And those back there on the trailer, seat tenders, are, and they're a different company. So yeah, yeah, those I won't worry about. There's three stacked up in front of the forklift. And then these four. So yeah, got that done, did a little bit of other stuff. And uh, right now uh, I gotta go pick up the boys and uh, I'm gonna go biking. Enjoy the nice day. It's not sunny, so I'm not gonna get sunburnt. I don't think it's supposed to rain, but the bike's loaded on the pickup. Got the old Huffy. We're gonna get rocking. Everybody have a good day. Hey, don't forget, if you like this, you get a kick out of it. If you're even entertained at all, go ahead and give it a like, a subscribe, comment, ask questions. I love answering questions. See ya. Well, it was 65 degrees when I left the house to go get the boys, and when I got there, it was 55 degrees, so we decided not to go, uh, not to go for a bike ride. But what we did do, we stopped at ice, got ice cream and french fries because french fries actually, french fries goes really well with ice cream. You should try it. Today was my last day of first grade.